LinkedIn is actually one of those things that's becoming more and more required, more and more requested on every single job application. And that is a big problem. And the main reason is LinkedIn just makes it way too easy to give too much information about yourself. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional networking platform with over 930 million members globally. LinkedIn was built as a professional platform to showcase your career accomplishments, develop your personal brand, and expand your network. However, some people end up oversharing personal details or unprofessional opinions on LinkedIn, which does more harm than good. It's a strange social media platform, really. I mean, where else can you find people bragging about working unpaid overtime and writing appreciation posts to the company that just laid them off? Today, I want to talk about some of the most common ways people overshare on LinkedIn and how it is hurting your reputation and career prospects. I remember when LinkedIn started as a startup in 2006, everyone was jumping in line to be part of the next big thing to skyrocket their professional career. It was the era where you were called crazy for not having a LinkedIn profile. But times have changed. LinkedIn has grown exponentially and is now the ninth largest social media platform in the world with more monthly users than Twitter. Undoubtedly, LinkedIn is the biggest job search site in the world. And in order to get the much needed connection of companies and recruiters, we tend to overshare a bit more than necessary. When you apply for a job through LinkedIn, the employer gets your skills, experience, education, and employment history on display in a consistent format, which is a big advantage over normal job sites like Indeed. This information should be on your resume, but the standardized way that LinkedIn presents it lets recruiters automate their candidate searches far more easily. Why should this matter at all? Well, LinkedIn is ruining your career by creating an imbalance of information between you and potential employers. A good LinkedIn profile should have all of the information an employer would ever want to know about you, but company pages don't have any of the information you really want to know about. A potential employer's salary information is often not shared, and job expectations are kept as vague as every other site. LinkedIn is giving companies the database of employee information for nothing in return. It's not fair that you are expected to give so much information about yourself and can't rely on the company to provide the necessary information needed to make an informed decision. Sadly, the platform just doesn't function that way. Companies and recruiters will continue to have the upper hand, it seems. All right, we've seen how employers have the upper hand info-wise on LinkedIn, but what if job seekers shared their pay? Would more salary transparency even the playing field or backfire? Let us know your thoughts before we proceed. Also, consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. Another way LinkedIn ruins your career, which is also one of the company's most lucrative revenue streams, is it forces self-comparison. It's well known that overconsumption of social media is bad for your mental health because it forces you to compare your everyday self with carefully curated posts by friends and influencers at their very best. Instagram will make you self-conscious about not hitting the gym for two hours every day, but LinkedIn will make you self-conscious about your career. Career coaches recommend that you make as many connections on LinkedIn as possible because it expands your network and makes your profile more visible. To truly excel at this, you'd have to give more than is necessary. Lately, my LinkedIn feed has been filled with thinly disguised brags about how someone became the youngest partner ever at a law firm, or someone else was thankful to have the honor of getting the top salesperson award for shattering a company's quarterly records through innovative cross-selling strategies and synergistic collaboration with the marketing team. Yes, I'm aware it's a mouthful, and I just had to say it all to get my point across. The self-congratulatory language barely masks their obvious goal, to outshow and outperform the next man or woman on the platform. I'm all for celebrating achievements, but there are always two sides to a coin. People don't post their bad hair days on Facebook, and they won't post their career failures on LinkedIn, which can give you, as an observer, the impression that everybody is doing much better than you are. And who can blame them? I mean, everybody on LinkedIn is essentially a saint, according to them. 
LinkedIn and the marketing teams that leverage the platform know that this insecurity is one of the best ways to sell products. If you are feeling insecure about your career, you are going to be more receptive to adding selling services like career development, training leads generation, or job recruitment. You are also more likely to be willing to spend money on a product that could increase your career earnings because it becomes easy to rationalize it as an investment in yourself. The problem that this actually creates for your career is that it forces you to think that you need to add more achievements to your page in order to stand out. According to the market research database Grandview Research, the American personal development market is worth $12 billion, and it is expected to grow at a rate of 4.1% over the next eight years. People are spending more of their money and unpaid hours to collect certifications like they are Pokemon gym badges. Recruiters and hiring managers love this trend because they are paid to put people in roles, and the performance of a new hire once they are in the job doesn't matter to them. People that seek out meaningless tokens to boost their employability are falling for the LinkedIn trap. LinkedIn didn't create this problem, but they sure are capitalizing on it. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching, and consider watching our other videos right here.